All right, so in summary, we have a uh, solar flare, X1.2 peak at 0233 UTC on 29 March 2023. This event comes in the midst of a trio of regions here that have been having intertwined loops connectivity that has finally caused the event. Regions 3256, 3257, and 3259. The event is still uh, ongoing, it's slowly digressing, uh, quickly, rapidly digressing, but uh, not as quickly as it went up. <laughs> and uh, there is a chronomass ejection associated, and that's going to take uh, some time and imagery to see what projection that will entail. So X1.2 just occurred. It's on the uh, southwestern hemisphere. And uh, let's take a look at 304 and see if we get a good imagery of some of this plasma in motion here. 304 angstroms, singly ionized helium. And you can see here that plasma dispersal there. A lot of heat over here. Still has continual loop movement. This uh, event definitely impacted all three of those regions. Yeah, vindicated. I've been calling this for several days saying it's going to happen, so it finally did. Um, <laughs> yeah, indeed. But uh, let's take a look at 171 again so we can take a look at some of these loops and see how this is playing out. Come here, you. There we go. Beautiful. All right. And we can see how this activity, it's very far reaching. There's some of that plasma from that CME that's ongoing. It's very far reaching of how far this activity is on the surface and even in the uh, within part of the chromosphere where you can see the activity is flashing amongst all the loops that were entwined between these three regions. Kind of clearing it up there. Ninety four angstroms. And one thirty one angstroms. There we go. And this is that nice, beautiful peak moment of that flare, the X one point two. That's the peak of it right there. Beautiful capture by SDO satellite. So X point one point two at zero two thirty three UTC twenty. 8 Mar 29 March to, uh, 2023. There it is. <laughs> Cheers and signs on.